Hey there, brave soul. Let's talk about something we all face but often shy away from, our fears. You know that feeling, right? The racing heart, the sweaty palms, the urge to run and hide. But here's the thing. Facing our fears is like opening a door to a whole new world of possibilities. What if instead of letting fear hold us back, we used it as a springboard to grow? Sounds crazy, I know. And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. We're going to dive into three simple yet powerful tips that can help you overcome any fear. Imagine waking up every day feeling confident and ready to take on whatever life throws at you. So, are you ready to take that first step? To face your fears head on and discover just how strong you really are? Great, let's jump right in and start this journey together. Remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. So pat yourself on the back and let's get started. Before we dive into our tips, let's take a moment to understand what fear really is. Fear isn't just an emotion. It's a complex response that involves our body, mind, and even our past experiences. It's like an alarm system in our brain designed to keep us safe from harm. Pretty cool, right? But here's the catch. Sometimes this alarm system gets a bit too sensitive. It starts ringing even when there's no real danger. Understanding fear matters because it helps us see it for what it really is, a natural response that we can learn to manage. It's not something to be ashamed of or to hide from. In fact, fear can even be a good thing sometimes. It can motivate us, keep us alert, and help us grow. And that's exactly what our tips are going to help you do. All right, let's jump into our first tip start small, dream big. When we're facing a big fear, it can feel overwhelming like trying to climb Mount Everest in flip-flops. Not a great idea, right? But what if we break that big, scary mountain into smaller, manageable hills? Let's say you're afraid of public speaking. Instead of forcing yourself to face that big crowd right away, start with something smaller. Maybe practice speaking in front of a mirror, then to a friend, then to a small group of five people. Each step builds your confidence and skills. The key here is to celebrate each small victory. Did you manage to speak in front of five people without fainting? That's huge. Give yourself a pat on the back. But while you're taking these small steps, don't forget to keep that big dream in sight. Visualize yourself confidently addressing that crowd of 100 people. You've got this. Now let's move on to our second tip. Breathe through the storm. When fear hits, our body goes into fight or flight mode. Our heart races, our breathing gets shallow, and our thoughts start spinning. It's like being caught in a storm. But here's the thing. We can learn to be the calm in that storm. Start by taking a slow, deep breath in through your nose for a count of four. Hold it for a count of four. Then exhale slowly through your mouth for a count of four. Repeat this cycle a few times. This simple act sends a signal to your brain that everything is okay. It's your secret weapon against fear, always available, always effective. Our final tip is all about changing the narrative. Rewrite your story. We all have stories we tell ourselves about our fears. I'm not brave enough. I'll never be able to do that. What if I fail? These stories can become self-fulfilling prophecies if we're not careful. But here's the good news. You're the author of your own story and you have the power to change it. Start by becoming aware of the stories you're telling yourself. When you face a fear, what thoughts pop into your head? Write them down. Now, take each of those thoughts and rewrite it in a positive, empowering way. I'm not brave enough becomes I'm braver than I think. I'll never be able to do that turns into, I can learn to do anything I set my mind to. Over time, you'll start to believe it, and when you believe it, you'll start to live it. We've covered a lot of ground, haven't we? From understanding our fears, to breathing through them, and rewriting our stories. But here's the most important thing to remember. Overcoming fear is a journey, not a destination. It's not about never feeling afraid again. It's about learning to dance with your fear, to use it as a tool for growth. Think about all the amazing things you could do if fear wasn't holding you back. The places you could go, the people you could meet, the experiences you could have. That's what awaits you on the other side of fear. So, my brave friend, I challenge you to take that first step today. Pick one small fear and face it head on. Your courage is waiting for you to claim it.